Signature design, mid-century, round dining room table. Dark charcoal tabletop with X-shaped metal base is a fresh twist on mid-century inspired style. Seats four, made of engineered wood. 41.97 by 41.97 by 30.31 inches. Hi there! Today, we'll be looking at how to assemble the GIA dining set. For this assembly, you'll need an Allen key, an Allen wrench, both of which we have included for you, a Phillips screwdriver, and a sharp object like a box cutter. Remember to have at least two people when moving large boxes. The assembly instructions are also in the box to provide an overall diagram of all the parts and steps. First, carefully lay the box face down and cut the tape around the edges of the package. Then flip it over and lift the top cover off. Take all your components out and unwrap them. Make sure you have all the required components. Pause the video if you need to. Remove the strings from the underside of the tabletop. After removing the hardware from the packaging, you'll want to prepare the bolts labeled 3 and 4 with spring washers and flat washers like so. Do not tighten them completely. 
then connect three of the table legs to the tabletop using the short bolts labeled 4. These bolts should all have spring washers and flat washers on them. Two people are recommended for mounting the shelf. Have one person hold the shelf at the same level as the holes on the legs, and have the other person attach the shelf to the legs using long bolts 3. After the shelf has been secured to the three table legs, attach the fourth table leg to the tabletop using short bolts 4, and attach it to the shelf using long bolts 3. Now tighten all the hardware and your dining table is ready to use. Now, let's take a look at assembling the chairs. Lay your chair back, labeled as A, on a soft surface like so. Take your chair base and secure it to the chair back through the three holes in the middle with the short bolts labeled as 5. Don't forget the spring washers and flat washers. Then screw the long bolts labeled as 6 into the corners. Now tighten the bolts with your Phillips screwdriver or the Allen wrench we have provided for you. Take one of the front legs, labeled C, and unscrew the protective caps. Slot the screws into the seat frame corner and secure it using flat washers, spring washers, then nuts. Repeat these steps with the second front leg and tighten the nuts using the Allen wrench provided. Place the cushion face down on the edge of an elevated area and place the assembled seat frame on the cushion. Attach the seat frame to the cushion using wood screws labeled 7. Make sure all your hardware is tightened and your chair is ready to use.